Uh, hi, uh, I'm Adriana Baranek and this is the Resource Channel. Today we will be talking about the comparison between Excel and Google Sheets. Uh, the main idea of Useways is to provide a place where companies can easily buy, deploy and uh, do many automations uh, within their company in the cloud. And uh, when we are talking about Excel, it is uh, definitely an asset for every organization today still. Um, but uh, when we um, look at Excel realistically, it was first created by Microsoft in 1987. Uh, to put it into perspective, this was the year when uh, the hits were songs like With or Without You by U2 and uh, John Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer, uh, the movie uh, that everybody was talking about was Dirty Dancing. So we are definitely talking about the tool that is a little bit old. Uh, today I am joined here by, uh, with our, by our CTO Mladen Baranek and I would um, have, Hi. I, I, I'm very excited to hear his take on um, Excel and Google Sheets and how do they compare and uh, what could companies do with Google Sheets that uh, would allow them to enter a 21st century. Uh, can you tell us mo more about your views on uh, Google Sheets and Excel and how they differ, what are uh, the benefits of each for companies and uh, how companies can use them? So Excel is the most popular uh, table calculator oh, at the time. Uh, Excel uh, progressed from uh, a single tool providing table calcula calculations to a tool that can be integrated with uh, uh, documents, reports, and somehow uh, it established itself as a personal productivity a tool that provided uh, enterprise environments with uh, unprecedented uh, ability to uh, analyze data, create dashboards, and uh, do reporting and uh, limited communication to some extent. But since Excel was uh, uh, created in era uh, basically before uh, internet, it never really uh, uh, get into collaboration and uh, Today, uh, it is well suited for personal productivity, but within enterprises, it lacks uh, on uh, features that enable collaboration and uh, utilizing uh, uh, internet resources, uh, getting data uh, from the internet and uh, utilizing various uh, capabilities like uh, language translation or some other analysis tools that, that are uh, currently available but were not not, not available at the time of, uh, of uh, creation of Excel. Mm -hmm. And so. yeah, uh, and uh, we, we all know that every company basically has uh, uh, a dead man, dead man in their closet uh, with uh, lots of tasks that are being done in Excel and uh, at the same time companies do have ERPs and other systems but Excel is um, lots of times used uh, to really you know cut to the chase to be faster to be more efficient. Um, uh, how do uh, Excel and Google Sheets compare in that regard? So, well, within uh, ERP, BPM, uh, business process management and, and such tools, there are a number of uh, limitations and uh, it is quite expensive and lengthy to introduce new processes to modify uh, uh, tools to accommodate business needs. So, people tend to use Excel since it is very flexible and can uh, do a patchwork of uh, uh, quick solutions to fix some issues that are not really economical with uh, ERPs, BPM tools and stuff like that. So the problem is that Excel is not really suited for uh, such 
tasks since uh, it is kind of a personal productivity tool and if you are uh, sending uh, Excel to a number of people to collect data and then gather it uh, back you, you have somehow to uh, find the person who will go through all versions of different sheets that are collected, uh, assemble the data into a kind of a master sheet and uh, then do analysis. So it's, it's not really uh, suited for uh, collaboration, plus it has a number of limitations that uh, uh, Excel is not aware of uh, who is actually uh, using it so it, it, it is not easy or even possible to uh, allow uh, access to part of of table based on a person who is uh, currently editing uh, a table and uh, th there are a number of other uh, uh, issues when you send it through emails then you uh, somehow have different versions of the same sheet and then people start asking is this the latest one no this is the latest one so it, it cannot be used as one a source of uh, truth and um, that's uh, one area where Google Sheets really uh, shine so wh while being uh, uh, as potent as a uh, personal uh, tool as Excel, they introduce uh, internet capabilities for collaboration where basically many people can uh, use one sheet at the same time and you can leverage uh, uh, identity of uh, uh, each user to allow him to uh, edit only certain portion of the sheet plus there is a complete history of a document and even on a cell level you can see who edited uh, that cell when and the, uh, you can track uh, activity dashboard for, for the whole sheet so uh, in uh, uh, business process management and in, in uh, uh, collaboration area sheets uh, google sheets are becoming kind of prevalent solution and they, they're uh, much better suited than uh, um, uh, other ways how you can try to use uh, other table uh, calculators for such tasks. Mm -hmm. uh, let, let me um, challenge you a little bit. So, um, the things that you're saying are uh, for Excel as an individual uh, tool. Uh, we have seen in lots of companies that they claim to have the SharePoint and the SharePoint allows the collaboration in Excel. Uh, uh, as with all emperors, new clothes, uh, in fact, the emperor is completely naked. And uh, we have seen, in fact, in real life, when we start to get to know our clients better, then in fact, they're not using SharePoint, even though they do have SharePoint. And they have the theoretical ability to, uh, with all those annoying things like, like lock, unlock, uh, table and stuff like that, they, they do have sort of ability in the old world to use SharePoint to collaborate on Excel, but uh, basically in the real world, they're not using it. Why uh, would you say that is the case? So, uh, the complexity of underlying infrastructure needed for collaboration, it's uh, uh, something that most enterprise cannot uh, implement or afford to maintain and the sheer complexity of maintaining different versions of SharePoint applications, different versions of uh, uh, Excel, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, cumbersome. Uh, if you are using software as a service solution to enable collaboration, uh, the barrier to uh, to being able to use that collaboration effectively is much lower mm -hmm. and basically uh, w while in theory it would be possible to to make a lot of uh, collaboration functions uh, by assembling 
different servers like SharePoint and installing different versions of Excel, it, it is uh, just too complex yeah. uh, in real world to, to be uh, used by enterprises. Yes. And uh, um, the, the main idea behind Usebys is that uh, we have seen, uh, working with enterprises for years now, we have seen that uh, lots of companies, in fact, um, think that they have something solved, when in reality they do not. And for instance, like you have the very expensive ERP, SAP, that you, you purchased and you paid a ton of money to consultants. And uh, in the end, you have people working in Excel because it's much easier, it's much more efficient and people like it more. Uh, so, uh, each uh, request for change requires analysis, mm -hmm. implementation and time. To, to be done you know, with tools like uh, SAP. Mm -hmm. So for some uh, uh, very fast processes or processes that are changing uh, very often, it is quite usual that people establish uh, workflows with email and uh, Excel mm -hmm. and they send tables around, they, they do some uh, external approval processes and uh, so, uh, obviously, uh, uh, speed and ease of uh, implementation of processes, it's, it's uh, quite important for mm -hmm. enterprises. So, if they start using software as a service solutions like uh, uh, Google Spreadsheets, they suddenly enable and empower their people to uh, uh, be even more more flexible they, they don't have to ask for uh, infrastructure from IT department to, mm -hmm. to, to get uh, additional servers uh, storage to mm -hmm. establish groups that they can do it uh, that, that they, they can just start using collaboration features uh, themselves and uh, also uh, connecting to uh, various data sources and analyzing them, it's uh, uh, much easier if you are using uh, uh, tools from 21st century mm -hmm. compared to uh, older tools. Yeah, and uh, we, do, we do not want to sound like we are tough on Microsoft. So Microsoft has Office 365, they have Excel in Office 365. How would you say that this online version of Excel in Office 365, which is heavily pushed by Microsoft now, um, is comparing to Google Sheets? Uh, so, uh, in, in principle, uh, data tables are uh, uh, the uh, table calculators are limited by uh, a size of data sets and if uh, if you are using Excel as a personal tool mm -hmm. then you can uh, today handle f f I don't know a few, few million cells uh, in a document but that's it if, if you have more data to analyze then you must use uh, other tools like databases or some BI tools uh, and uh, st uh, still people use Excel uh, uh, in, uh, in this old version of, of Excel to maintain uh, a compatibility with uh, older formats with binary encryption that, that was used 10 years ago if mm -hmm. that is a requirement by some financial institution or something. Uh, if, if you need uh, more flexible and uh, uh, in, uh, connect, uh, uh, better connected with the internet solution, then Office 365 is for sure a candidate. So Excel uh, in uh, uh, Office 365 in online uh, version, it's much more limited and it can process uh, at the moment uh, uh, less less data and it's also lacking on a uh, uh, number of features uh, from uh, on-prem uh, Excel while oh, it enables you 
uh, collaboration and it enables you some uh, um, some uh, uh, I, I would say still limited uh, integration capabilities with other uh, internet tools well Google Sheets are much uh, much better they can process more data mm -hmm. than um, uh, than uh, Excel online and they are much better integrated with uh, um, uh, internet environment so th th they enable much better uh, collaboration mm -hmm. well so th that would be uh, a basic difference so, so somehow uh, Office 365 um, I hope will get uh, better and better mm -hmm. but at the moment Google Sheets uh, more mm -hmm. more efficient uh, uh, table calculator yeah. than as uh, of now July 2019 we can definitely say that that is true yeah. Uh, there is a common misconception that uh, Google Sheets are somehow inferior to Excel and um, it, it's been growing through years because people have heard about Google Sheets like nine years ago and then Google Sheets were re really pretty basic. They didn't have lots of functionalities and features and abilities that they have now. But now, in July 2019, um, um, Google Sheets uh, in features versus Excel, how would you compare them? Uh, so, uh, at the moment, Google Sheets even have same bugs as uh, Excel on-prem uh, and they implemented 99% and more uh, uh, basic functionality of uh, uh, older Excel uh, versions, so uh, there is no problem opening Excel tables doing calculations and stuff like that. There are still some uh, v very specific areas where uh, older Excel has some some capabilities to to connect with uh, on-prem uh, databases on a PC and stuff like that. That, that, that is easier to do with the uh, old uh, old Excel, but. Uh, Google introduced new uh, tiered uh, model for uh, uh, G Suite, and they have business and enterprise editions. So, uh, in in business and enterprise editions, uh, sheets also can connect to a number of uh, uh, databases, and by default, of course, that they can connect to some. some uh, 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 public cloud, mm -hmm. public cloud uh, databases. So mm -hmm. amazing. Um, uh, ne our next video will be about the comparison of features in uh, Google Sheets and then in, in Excel. So we will not be going into details today. Um, but um, regarding the companies that marvel in the emperor's new clothes while the emperor is completely naked, uh, how would you suggest that companies proceed with uh, their exploration of Google Sheets and uh, what would be the good way forward? We, we have some solutions that we built on top of Google Sheets, of course, but this is not like a commercial, even though you, know, you, you, you can look at our video on Google um, Sheets uh, planning use ways. Um, tool, um, but what, what would be your suggestion? Uh, so, it is possible to use uh, as, uh, at the same time uh, older Office tools and uh, G Suite for, for this internet connectivity and it might make sense for companies to, to uh, introduce either uh, G Suite or Office 365 based on references and some, some other uh, requirements to enable their people uh, to, to leverage this mm -hmm. uh, collaboration potential. And then th there is one area uh, that you mentioned, uh, automation. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, today it is possible to automate not only uh, one document or 
one uh, 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 one task mm -hmm. uh, for uh, employees. It, it can be possible to automate uh, uh, processes and collaboration with other people. So th uh, there are uh, fairly uh, accessible tools for non-engineering staff that can provide uh, uh, this automation uh, capabilities for, for documents with uh, limited scripting and mm -hmm. with some uh, tools that are uh, uh, suited for, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for automating tasks. So mm -hmm. I think we can talk about that later. Yes, yes. So we'll definitely make a um, um, separate video on that. Um, uh, one interesting thing that we can also mention is that uh, it is possible to um, um, take um, software as a service uh, tool that will allow you to see how people are really using Excel because in lots of companies there is a, a big misunderstanding about how uh, much Excel is needed and uh, there is a company called Softwatch we are their partners and they have a tool that allows you to see how really people are using Excel. And what we have seen in companies is that lots of companies, in fact, they um, like claim that they are so advanced users of Excel when in fact like 70% of people just uh, could uh, use uh, Google Sheets and be more than happy with Google Sheets. And uh, the rest of those uh, people that are really using Excel could also benefit from Google Sheets uh, with internet of a little change management. Uh, so um, uh, um, change management, I guess, would be very important in transitioning from Excel to Google Sheets. Uh, and uh, what would be your recommended uh, path in that regard? Uh, so uh, anyway, th uh, this whole de development uh, cycle is forcing company to uh, implement new uh, technologies through uh, uh, ju just uh, changing operating systems, uh, uh, the way how people are using uh, internet, so th th they are moving from uh, desktops to uh, mobile devices mm -hmm. to different formats and somehow even within uh, enterprises, internet is becoming prevalent solution. That they, they, they still maintain their intranets and uh, some uh, some sense of self self sufficient uh, IT environments. But that is uh, de definitely uh, uh, changing, and uh, y y it's uh, becoming. Mm, uh, a question of uh, when, not if, mm -hmm. uh, they will have to introduce new new business models that are driven by vendors and th th they'll have to start using software as a service solution. Mm -hmm. So uh, Microsoft is also migrating a lot of uh, th their uh, platforms and solutions to Azure and to Office mm -hmm. 365. Uh, Google offered this whole G Suite, then mm -hmm. the, there is Amazon for uh, a myriad of uh, services that can be used in, in public cloud. So my, my uh, suggestion would be to start with this office productivity mm -hmm. to leverage uh, uh, um, mobile devices, mobility of, mm -hmm. of uh, uh, workers and to start introducing uh, collaboration in a way that will enable people to do some tasks on uh, uh, not, not only on their desktops but also on, on mobile phones like, like approval workflows and stuff like mm -hmm. that and uh, somehow when, when people uh, start uh, uh, getting benefits from from this new approach, this change management will be m much easier mm -hmm. to, to implement. Yeah. So we, it is uh, uh, then that uh, you, you can figure out who can be your um, uh, star users mm -hmm. or uh, uh, so some people who can 
uh, help propagate mm -hmm. ch change management uh, throughout the company. Yeah, great. Okay. Um, so, uh, to conclude, um, Google Sheets versus Excel, who wins? Well, uh, I wouldn't say there is a winner, there is definitely uh, uh, some uh, some situations where uh, the, uh, they can coexist in, in some, uh, uh, if you are starting as a new company then it might make sense to, to go with uh, only software as a service so, uh, solution. I wouldn't say that there is a winner, but uh, in principle, uh, uh, Google Sheets are much better for collaboration and uh, uh, Excel with the uh, Office 365 can be suited if, if you already have a lot of uh, established processes and uh, stuff like that with Excel, but it is worth considering uh, uh, switching to to uh, Google Sheets even in that case. Mm -hmm. Great. So a little disclaimer, we are using Google Sheets. We um, think that Google Sheets rock and uh, that um, basically we also use Excel, but uh, have really no special need for Excel anymore. So Google Sheets have uh, shown uh, to us that, uh, that they can really be up to very difficult tasks. If you don't believe us, please contact us. My email address is adriana.miadria.com and I would be more than happy to answer all of your questions. My address is mladen.miadria.com. Um, uh, do you have any closing remarks for our viewers? Uh, thank you for watching us and hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, Mladen. Thank you. Bye.